All right, guys, I got a little treat for you today. I picked up a customized Glock 19 on the used market just the other day here. And there's going to be some very interesting things to talk about with this gun. It's, it's something that's very interesting to me. And it's something I wanted to play around with and try out and use and just see uh, where this goes. So let me go ahead and show you. Open the box here. And as you can see, only the slide and the other miscellaneous parts from the box here. And that is because uh, the frame was untouched on this gun. So I have sent the frame off to be fully customized. And when the frame comes back, I'm going to unbox it on camera, uh, put the gun together, and tell you where you can get the work that I had done uh, to your gun. I'm very much looking forward uh, to the work that's being done to the frame of this Glock 19. Uh, another thing about this Glock 19 is it was a green frame from the factory. So it wasn't Cerakoted, and when you get a green frame from the factory, the frame is green through and through. So any stippling or anything is going to remain green. There's no Cerakote. It's the, the full piece of polymer is uh, green through and through. I'd never had an actual just a green uh, Glock before, so this would be my first one on that. Another thing is, everything is 2016. The gun itself is 2016. The suppressor height Trijicon night sights are stamped 16. Trijicon puts the dates on all their sights. And you can see here, the night sights there. And it does have the Vortex Venom red dot sight. Now this slide has been milled out for the red dot sight and it has a window cut on each side to reduce the weight a little bit. Now the sight doesn't weigh that much. It's one ounce, 1 ounce, 1.1 ounces. Uh, but, but reducing the material here does kind of even things up or even give you a little less weight than what the factory slide would be even with the red dot sights. So you get a little bit quicker lock time. Now, some of you may like this, some of you may not, but the slide has been Cerakoted in what is called battle-worn finish, which is basically, they do a finish on these guns, and then they, they go over the finish with another color, and it looks like that it's been worn off or worn down. As you can see, I'll show you, you can see by the barrel and stuff how clean this actually is. There's not even like a shooting line on the barrel. And you can see how clean that everything is. So everything's pretty much brand new. Um, like I said, my frame will be coming back and I will be giving you all the details and all the work I had done, uh, showing you the gun put back together. And I'll be letting you know where you can get the work done uh, and look at pictures in case if you uh, wanna look into something like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the red dot on. It's now the dot's not gonna look the same as it does in person. I've got a ton of light coming down on the gun, but the camera can't pick up the dot like the eye does, but that's giving you a close representation right there of the dot in there. Uh, I'm liking this red dot sight. Uh, all the reviews and stuff I've looked at so far, I have not shot this gun, but from everything I've looked at so far, I have, I'm hearing nothing but good things about this Vortex Venom red dot sight. You know, from everything that I've seen so far online and uh, read about the site, not, uh, everything's good. So, there we go again. Like I said, the Trijicon uh, 2016 model suppressor height night sights right there. There's the rear slide plate cover. And yeah, guys, so we are going to be going th through with this gun project together. It's not really a project. Uh, there Also, there was a trigger job done on the gun. The trigger is really, really good. It's crisp. But I would like to get something to take out some of the take-up. The take-up's kind of long on the trigger pull. But the trigger pull is definitely nice. It's, it's a nice, light, crisp, smooth trigger pull. And it's very easy to keep the gun on target when you're going through the trigger pull on this thing. 
you know, I was testing it out before I set my frame away uh, to get customized. So there it is, guys. Uh, the slide milling, it also has some cuts on the front here. The Glock logo stayed. And then it has, like, this is very slight. This is raised, but it's very slightly raised up here. It's been radiused on the corner here. And then over here, you can see the cuts are a little bit deeper. So you could do a press check or any kind of racking you want to do from the front of the gun. Which, that's cool. And like I said, very lightly raised. Very lightly raised indentations right here. And then you have a part milled out right here. Uh, this cut right here, I like those. I like that. And this on this side. And then, like I said, the top has been milled down. I, I don't like red dots that you can put in the rear sight channel. I like red dots that that are milled, that when the gun's milled, they sit down nice and low. And you have your, uh, you can co-witness it with this, pretty much. Or your sights will be just a little bit under the dot in that scenario. So yeah, guys, I like it. Uh, you can do the Cerakoting. You can get the color changed anytime you want. I didn't have the Cerakoting or any of this work done. I got the gun like it is with the trigger job and all the slide work done. The frame was untouched green frame. So that's what's out right now. It's getting fully customized, guys. And I'm telling you, it's going to be tricked out when I get it back. So you're going to want to stay tuned and see uh, what, what, what I'm getting done and what this gun looks like when that frame comes in. I don't think the turnaround time is going to be that long. My gun, the frame is going to be there... Thursday, and I'm thinking maybe two weeks turnaround time, maybe, maybe not even that long. So it's not going to be real long from now, guys, until I'm going to be able to show you this guy pretty much complete to the, all the way I want it to be, and except for a little, you know, maybe a little nitpick items here and there, but the gun's going to be pretty much complete, and I'd also like to show uh, me shooting it, you know, after the work gets done and stuff. So, all right, guys, there it is. Uh, let me know what you think, and like I said... <laughs> Be very interesting coming up here when I get that frame back. All right, guys, till next time. This is H4T, and I'm out of there.